Live from the FIA Barcelona Gran Via Conference Center in Barcelona, Spain, it's The Cube at HP Discover Barcelona 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, HP. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live in Barcelona for theCUBE. This is our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the system of noise. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante in Barcelona for HP Discover in Europe, in Europe, the 2014 major customer event. Our next guest is Dominic Weil, VP of Marketing and Global Product Line Management for HP Networking. And of course, we love networking on theCUBE. It's one of our highest rated content types. Uh, Dave and I were just talking about that. And uh, uh, Dominic, welcome back to theCUBE. Thanks, Joe. Oh, welcome to the first time on theCUBE, right? No, 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 second time. Second time, okay, that's right. Yeah, so second time on theCUBE. Um, so networking is hot, obviously. Um, we were just talking before we came on. Yeah. It's really one of the most active areas right now, both online and also from an engineering standpoint, yeah. uh, in enterprises and service providers. Um, networking guys tend to be engineering and architectural and doing yeah. all the hard stuff, but they're taking a lot of heat these days because sure. the network is the bottleneck. Everyone's right. like pointing at you. DevOps yeah. is on the enterprise. It's, it's pretty much the mantra is, hey, I know you're important, it's, this is important stuff, yeah. but can you go faster? Yeah. You know, pedal faster. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, obviously network virtualization, NFD, yeah. all this stuff's happening. Give us a quick update. Um, how are you guys putting that all together? How are you keeping customers happy? What's yeah. the state of the union? Yeah, um, so actually to your, to your point there, one of the funny things we uh, heard from our customer advisory board is uh, the number one feature they want us to implement is mean time to innocence. Um, because they, uh, you know, every time something goes wrong, it's always the network's fault. Except nine times out of ten, it isn't. Um, and so, you know, they're asking us to, you know, more no trouble more, found. Yeah, more and more, you know, try and figure out well, how can you, how can you prove that we're innocent before you know the problem, you know, gets there. But, but overall, in general, yeah, I mean, so agility, you know, as people move towards the cloud, they they want the promise of agility in the uh, in the enterprise environment. And agility is not a static thing. It's not a static measurement. Um, it's really uh, an evolving thing. And as you know, cloud starts to roll out and people deploy cloud in you know the enterprise and service provider environments. Um, you know, the demands around agility you know just keep increasing. And uh, and so what we're emphasising here at Discover is around the, the power of simplicity and how if you simplify the network using software-defined net networking principles. Um, you can really, really increase that agility, increase availability, reliability, etc. You know, networking has really been just too hard for too long, um, and SDN is really the thing that you know is really going to you know deliver on that promise of greater agility and reliability. And so, you know, network virtualization is one of those SDN technologies that, that people have gone beyond the tire kicking now, and they're really starting to to roll out implementations. Um, and the promise of network virtualization is just better utilization of your, your network resources. So, you know, you can do more with the existing network, um, but it's also around that agility, how quickly you can roll out ad hoc networks, how quickly you can spin up new applications. And so, you know, these are the points that we're really, really emphasizing you know, today. At this I mean, most customers' networks are very hierarchical and structured yeah, and rigid yeah. and all these things. So, so how do we get from that to where we want to be, and generally yeah. you're right, it's, it's, it's not static, yeah. and yeah. It's, it's sometimes hard to define, but it's, you know it when you get it. Yeah. So no, how absolutely. do we go from this sort of structured hierarchy of the network today to where we want to go? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great question, it's actually one of the first questions that customers ask us, you know, when I you know, talk to customers about the promise of SDN, they say, you know, fantastic, sounds great but how do I get from where I am today to then? Um, one of the answers to that is that um, one of the things that we at HP do that is totally unique in the industry is that we provide our transformation services. Um, so we have workshops where we can go into a client's environment and specifically in the context of their network, talk about, okay, not just the technology aspects, but also the business aspects, budgeting, organizational issues that you're going to have, and basically deliver a, a roadmap, a phased roadmap of practical steps that they can take with all the different elements that they have to consider beyond just the technology, and help them to actually develop that plan to go from A to B. Um, and you know, 
in most environments today, people have these very hierarchical networks, you know, the traditional three-tier network that's associated with, you know, Cisco environments. And so, you know, those were designed to, you know, to, to send traffic north and, and south. Everything had to go up the stack and down the stack. But of course, today in the, in the hyper-virtualized world, everything goes east to west. And so you have to actually start to look at how do you change and transform that underlying infrastructure so as you can take advantage of the principles around network virtualization and, and server virtualization as well. Are some customers saying, okay, I want to fence the sort of hierarchy off and all the new stuff, I want to yeah. build out a, 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 a new infrastructure for all these mobile apps? Yeah. Or are you seeing more morphing of the old and the new world? Uh, it's actually a combination. Um, so there are very specific applications that you know people want to take and, and just you know fence off. So things like HANA, Hadoop, etc., where you want to really tune the network and, and tailor it in a specific way to make those particular applications very efficient. Um, so people are you know taking some you know dedicated uh, infrastructure steps there. So we have uh, our converged systems group who are delivering converged systems that are you know very successfully tuned to just service those applications. But in general, people also want to drive the advantage of software-defined networking, virtualization, etc., into their general infrastructure. Um, they just want to get you know greater efficiency and reliability. And so, you know, as we roll out these network virtualization solutions, we're really delivering those to the, you know, the more complex but the more varied environment of the general enterprise, um, which is why we at HP, again, are unique. We've actually delivered three different network virtualization solutions because what we recognized is that, you know what, everybody's not the same. There's not one size that fits all. There are different use cases that require difference for feature sets. So summarize those, what are the three? So uh, we have three. The first one is uh, Virtual Cloud Network, or VCN. Um, and VCN is actually integrated into our Helion Cloud offering, uh, which is obviously based on OpenStack. And so it really is about changing the economics. It's cloud economics for network virtualization. So we actually include VCN in Helion. It's included in the license. You don't have to buy anything extra. So most people who are moving towards that OpenStack environment, they want open. Um, they want you know they want all the you know the features and things, but they want very open and they also want different economics. They're running KVM, for instance. Um, and so VCN fits very nicely in there. It also delivers um, on scalability both from the very small to the very large. Um, so we can actually use traditional VLANs, scaling up to 4,000 VLANs, which for a lot of organizations is enough yeah. to virtualize. And they don't want to pay extra money for, for things that can scale much higher than that. So that's where, that's where VCN fits in the portfolio. Um, the second one is the, uh, the solution that we developed with VMware. So we've done a joint um, federation solution with VMware, uh, obviously really strong partners of ours. And, and for those customers who have already bought into the, the VMware stack and are using extensive VMware tools, um, one of the challenges that they have with the network, a the problem they run into the network where the network holds them back, is that while the overlay, the VMware NSX overlay, gives them a great deal of operational flexibility, when it comes to visibility and troubleshooting down into the underlying infrastructure, it's kind of a black box. You kind of now run into some problems. And so taking HP's SDN controller, federating that with VMware's controller, it now links the overlay and the underlay and the physical and virtual worlds together and solves those problems. And it gives you visibility as to what's gives happening you, there. Yeah, so great if something visibility. goes wrong, you can, you can address it. Would you brand that? Is there it's branded as the, the HP VMware network solution, um, HP VNS. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, we, we demoed it actually just uh, a couple of months back at uh, VMworld. Here, um, and, in Barcelona. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, and so, you know, that, that is actually rolling out as a, as a full GA product in the, you know, in the coming weeks. And then the, the, the last of the three solutions that we have is called uh, distrib uh, our uh, distributed cloud network, DCN. Um, and that is, uh, that is a solution that we just recently introduced. 
and and that is really geared more towards the you know the service provider or really large organisations who act like service providers. So service providers who may be on their journey to NFV and want to accelerate that. So DCN can scale to very very you know high degree. It can scale to you know tens of thousands of VMs. Um, but most poignantly, it has a unique feature set in as much as it has an MPLS data plane. And so it will integrate very neatly in those large organizations who've already implemented MPLS at the core. Um, and so it'll be able to just, you know, very, very simply, without any need for disruption, transform that network, be able to take advantage of the MPLS capabilities and drive MPLS all the way down to the top of RAM. So John, I'm hearing a lot of scale out. Network is finally scaling out. It is. Things are here. <laughs> few years, we've been pounding that since the Nasir acquisition of VMware, yeah. I think everyone realizes that network virtualization is, is, is tier one problem to focus on, create growth. Uh, but I want to ask you something about the cloud, or cloud traction. Um, if you look at Amazon's Direct Connect, what Google Cloud's doing with peering, the trend is to have a direct relationship with backbones. Right. So obviously that's a networking challenge on the wide area side. But now as people want to connect their data centers, you're seeing a much more regional focus. Yeah. Obviously Amazon launched in Germany, yeah. their data center. That's a trend. I want to have workloads moving around. Yeah. Basically treating data centers like network, network uh, points of presence. Yeah. So what do you guys play into that trend? Obviously you have cloud. Yeah. your own cloud, but also you have partners that have data centers and cloud. So right. you have your own cloud or you work with people who have cloud. So talk yeah. about this, this new dynamic and what does that mean for you guys and what do you have in that area for products? Yeah, I mean, it's, so, I mean, it's actually really a, a question for our, for our cloud Helion team and our public cloud team and in terms of you know, how we're going to implement things. From the networking side... Well, from their side, I'll ask them about the Direct Connect and how, what right. they view it, but as you get down, what it really means, what I want to yeah. get to you is, the, what's the network problem? From the, well, from the networking side, the, the, there's a couple of problems. You know, number one is that if people want to actually stretch their VLANs across um, different data centers. You don't want to have different addressing schemes in, in two different data centers. You want to be able to you know, just have the same scheme across the two. So we introduced a, a technology uh, two years ago now called EVI, which enables you to do exactly that. It enables you to actually stretch your, your VLAN uh, addressing across um, different uh, geographies. And, and so that's something that uh, one of our customers is going to talk about in our keynote tomorrow. They've actually just implemented okay. this. So Levi Strauss is, is, yeah. is up on stage with me in our keynote tomorrow. Yeah. We'll actually be talking through their entire use case of exactly this problem. And so they implemented... It's a huge issue. We're hearing that everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. And, and they implemented EVI. Um, they've had great results with it. Um, they get fantastic um, you know, disaster recovery scenarios now, where they don't even know where you know when something happens. Well, Levi's is also a very, um, very virtualized environment. It is. Um, you know, they SAP shop. Right? We know. Yeah. From, yeah. Interviewing their CIO one year at uh, Sapphire. Right, and and you know they have got a really you know it, it's I wouldn't say a complex environment they've got a very advanced environment yeah. and uh, and they you know they've been doing some really interesting stuff so they they've now prepared the infrastructure to the point now where they can take that next next step and start looking at NSX and overlaying that. So what was the core thing with their VLANs? So were they had two different VLANs depending upon the geography and the regions? Yeah, I mean in? that would have been the challenge is that you know if uh, if you have you know two. You have two data centers. One is, you know, sort of backup disaster recovery. The challenge was that that actually had a different set of VLANs than your original site. So as you migrate VMs and transfer them over, you have to restart everything, readdress everything. Everything appears in a different VLAN all of a sudden, which causes a lot of problems and requires a lot of manual intervention. Now with you know our EVI technology, those VLANs, those uh, VMs just migrate across, and you know to the rest of the infrastructure, it just looks like the same data center. Um, so it's a huge advantage. So now that you're running marketing now, and as well as product, which is exciting, I, I think that's really good to have that kind of integration uh, for what it's worth, given all the technical stuff going on. Right. It's really a challenge. What are you guys doing to get the word out? Obviously, you guys have great chops in networking. Yeah. You have award-winning, I mean, it's going back years yeah. uh, to, to the you know hubs and switches, yeah. uh, but now you're serious around, you have first ones to ship OpenFlow, 
uh, yeah. courts uh, years ago. Right. We talked to Bethany Mayer about that when she was around. But yeah. what's going on now? What are you guys doing to get the word out? Is there any marketing plans you're doing? Social media? Yeah. Any events happening? Give us a quick update. Yeah, I mean, you know, absolutely. We, it, social media is becoming a bigger and bigger part of you know of our marketing efforts. Um, you know, there's there's events obviously like Discover and and doing you know digital media like we do with you guys and and the, you know these are these are a great resources. Uh, for us to get the message out. But social media is a big one. One of the things that we're focusing on is, is really doubling down on telling the market about our credentials. Um, it's, it's still you know, amazing to me that yeah. people don't recognize that HP networking is actually the number two networking uh, vendor in the world. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and just how successful we've been. We're actually the hidden story in networking. Um, you know, we quietly just keep chipping away at Cisco market share, um, you know, just making really good progress. Stay stealth. I mean, Cisco's doing the opposite. They're trying to step on the yeah. messaging on servers, and you guys are you know, cutting into their yeah. networking piece. Well, and to be honest with you, I think that we've been, you know, a little too polite in the market. You know, we got to get a lot more aggressive, and, you know, under Meg's leadership, right. we're doing exactly that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the case. Well, yeah. we'll, do, I mean, we'll do our the, part. Well, your, your, your business is, is doing well there. Yeah, I absolutely. Calls it out in the, in the calls. It's a growth area yeah. for HP, so. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You've got to be excited about that. There's a great um, article that uh, just came out in Time Magazine about the uh, the HP turnaround as a whole, um, and talking about you know how EG, our you know our enterprise group, is contributing um, to that turnaround. But you know things are actually going really yeah. really well. For and us. the key thing for you guys is, is first of all, I'll, I'll, I'll testify that you guys definitely have the chops. We've been following your networking group for many many years. Right. Solid as a rock. The equipment is, I mean, just from a reliability standpoint, amazing. But also right. now you have the technology, um, and it's interesting that you brought up the keynote. That's good to tie that together. But the key is to enable on top of you, right? I yep. mean, the platform yep. will be commoditized, and yep. the value will be in what you enable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it, it's all about, you know, bringing together. I mean, one of the things, the other things we've done is, is bringing together networking technology and fundamentally integrating it into our server and storage offerings and things. So stop thinking about networking as a standalone thing and think about it as a fabric that enables. Yep. Um, you know, a, a broader solution. Well, that's going to be key for you guys to point at those enabling um, disruptors that you're creating for your customers to create good good solutions. So we appreciate it. Dominic, thanks for coming on the Cube. We appreciate it. We're out of time. Uh, quickly, I'll give you a quick uh, last word here. Explain to the folks the bumper sticker for this show. What's it going to say when it leaves Barcelona? Power of simplicity in networking is SDN. SDN, there it is. We are here live inside the Cube in Barcelona getting all the action, sharing that with you. This is the Cube. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante. We'll be right back after this short break.